Good morning. Good morning. It is February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And we are a day at sea. We are. And I don't even know what we're doing today. Mm. <laughs> I know what we're doing first thing today, I guess, is what I should say. Yeah. I know have. what we're doing later in the day, but I know nothing in between. That's true. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to have a sea day. So we don't have to plan too much. But yes, we are... Uh, we have been invited to a special little thing this morning, so you can follow along and see. Oh, my, my voice sounds, uh, I guess I haven't had the morning coffee or anything yet. Anyways. Anyways, we're going on a special tour of someone's cabin to show you something different than an inside room. Yeah, exactly. So let's start the day that way, and we'll get on to the rest of it later. Right. right, right. <laughs> Okay, so we are on a hunt for the suite. We're not sure where it is. Might be one of the fancy ones up top. We know that it's a deck S. S112, I think we're looking for. And you're getting foggy, so you can't see me, but you can probably hear me. Anyways, the search continues, we're lost. We are playing Journey of the Secret Word once again. In this video, you're looking for one of 10 letters for this vlog series. We are excited to announce that Level 8 will be rewarding the winner with a piece of luggage. Good luck, everybody. Okay, we're getting closer. Deck 17, S, 102 to 302. This way. Let's see. We're gonna find it one way or the other. Maybe it's one of these rooms that we look at from the retreat pool saying, what are those rooms behind the glass? Because you can see right beside us is the retreat pool. The search continues for sweet. Yes, one, one, two. Okay, we're here at Suite S112. We found it, it has coupon marks, and we're gonna go in and take a look at what we the suite are. looks like. I think this is called the Vista Suite. Vista Suite, lovely. Look at the nice ocean view. But let's start from here and work our way in. Is that what you wanna do, hon? Sure. Oh, lots of, of storage here. Oh yeah. I won't show you because we have personal stuff, but. Trust me when I say it's a very generous size closet storage there. Top to bottom. Uh-huh. And in here we have the toilet and a sink and some storage. But this is not the... the this is only the beginning of the bathroom. This is the beginning. You have to come in and follow me through the second door. And you can access this the other way. But look at this gorgeous tub. <laughs> Wow. Oh, they didn't fill it up for you to have a, to have a bath? Have you, a bubble bath? You've been dying to have a bubble bath. A giant, giant shower. Definitely a two-person shower if you wanted it to be. Look at this. Uh, that's even, that's at least the size of a Hall in America shower. Oh, at yeah. least. Yeah. And then you can come out through this way if you want. This wall. Oh, we're coming out the bath, the two doors into the bathroom. Right. This wall is full of more storage. So you have five storage closets in mm. here and then so you, you could fit what 50 dresses i could i could easily get 50 dresses in here no problem <laughs> wouldn't even add an eye here's your little bar area right here look what we found look what they had mr canuck's favorite pringles. snacks i went to grab a pringle and they're all gone there's like <sighs> half of one left in the bottom i think they'd notice if i took that one <laughs> <laughs> lovely bar here yeah, mini fridge down and under, lots of shelves, bird stuff here, great area. And now let's come into the room. So you have your sofa over here. This pulls out into a queen size bed, they told us. And now here's the bedding configuration. You can have these two pushed together for a king size bed or separate like this. But having it like this gives you so much more leg walking around room it's lovely so again you have three more drawer drawers with your bed lights so you have so much storage here i just I get, i'm getting um overwhelmed by all the storage because you have three more here over at your desk makeup table and let's go to the to the best part here to the, I, don't know. I thought the bathroom might have been the best part well that's true <laughs> but look at this view you have comfy loungers here, nice big cushions. You've got a table that you can have a meal out here on. Yeah, these are better quality did. loungers than what you normally get on a balcony. Yeah, these are good. for sure. Nice, comfy. And then put your legs up here and just enjoy this beautiful seating. 
it, they've invited us to join them for the deluxe balcony breakfast that they had ordered. Come check this out, guys. This is an insane amount of food. It's supposed to be for two people, but they knew that there was enough, that there's enough food here for four people easily. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? What a way to spend a sea day morning on that. Valentine's Day at that. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of that right there. Uh -huh, for sure. <laughs> Smoked salmon. Do you I mean, mind look, if we just This is one of the benefits of that suite. Look how close here. it is to the uh, retreat pool. So yes, so here is Cooper and Mark that invited us in and that's their lovely cabin that we just showed you, but steps away from this retreat pool. So what, 10 steps to yeah. the closest bar in the pool? You're doing pretty good, guys. <laughs> Very thank, strategic. Thank you both for You're inviting welcome. us and we really appreciate it, it was gorgeous. They're the ones that ate all the sour cream Pringles in there. It's not he, might have, he might have filmed your Pringles <laughs> <trainer>. <laughs> Look at this. This is behind the scenes of elevator repair, right here. <laughs> there you go. Something you'll get to see all the time. Okay. <laughs> we're going shopping, but we're doing a type of shopping that I don't mind doing. Mm -hmm. This isn't dress shopping, purse shopping, or such. We're doing Mr. Canuck shopping today, guys. Yes. We're going into the Photoshop. <laughs> we'll show you what we're going to look for. Here's what we're for. We're here to get a new toy. Uh -huh. Our GoPro is getting old, and we've got a lot of onboard credit. So the two go together in my mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Cook would like you to see the heart in her cappuccino because that's more exciting than the GoPro. Well, it's Valentine's Day. It matches my dress. Oh, and you my got earrings. me a GoPro for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I got you a GoPro for Valentine's Day. You got me a cappuccino. Okay. New GoPro is in the bag. One interesting thing at the photography shop I noticed there is a staff I've never seen from countries I've never noticed before our name tags. There was a gentleman there from Ghana, there was another one from Kenya that was in there. But yeah, it's fascinating to see even more people from different parts of the world working on cruise ships. It's always been something that we've liked, so... Off to play with the new GoPro. Maybe you'll see some footage from it soon. We are off again. We are heading to the main theatre to see a presentation about, I think, the entertainers and the shows, the production shows. There might even be some behind-the-scenes stuff as part of this, so hopefully we'll be able to show you some interesting stuff about the Princess Theatre and the amazing production shows that they do put on. Here we are, backstage extravaganza it's called. From studio to stage. Princess Theatre, in we go. Princess Cruises rose to fame in 1977 when Pacific Princess became the shining star of The Love Boat, EBC's long-running primetime show. Since then, exceptional entertainment has a fine princess. With moving scenery as well as performers on electronic lifts, safety is always job number one. In fact, prior to rehearsals even taking place, all personnel, cast and production are required to complete a demanding safety order. Okay, it's showtime. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to uh, one of our newest kind of uh, rebranded and redesigned events for our uh, behind the scenes. Some of these newer shows are choreographed by big choreographers, i.e. Spotlight Bar, um, which is the newest show in the fleet currently, um, was choreographed by Karen Bruce. We get information of the date the entertainer will join, the date they will disembark, how many minutes of material the entertainer has. Mostly it's 90 minutes of material, two 45 minute shows. Um, and then it'll be a very short description of what they do, whether they're a vocalist, um, magician, acrobats, things like that. Ladies and gentlemen, coming. thank you sincerely for supporting us. Please don't miss the remainder of the shows. Enjoy your day and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Have a wonderful day, folks. Thank you. See you at the show. We are going for our Patreon Crown and Diet level special lunch today. We're very excited. We are. We have a couple new members as well. so. We'll go there. Let me show you what the inside story looks in the board of directors of Cruising Connects. There we are. Amalfi dining room for lunch. Here we go. Lunch location today in the Amalfi. The aft dining room that we spend very little time in. This is only our second time ever in 32 days cruising on this ship. Okay, here for 
princess lunch. Lots of options. I love almost all the appetizer options, although I'm trying to avoid peanuts, so that rules out a couple. And lots of options for me, so. Yeah. And we are here with all our Crown and Diet patrons. What a good looking group we've got here. You see this knife here? They're different than the actual dinner knives. These ones that they start the tables with, they kind of odd shape. They're flat on one side, but then opposite of the blade. So sometimes they sit like this. Oh. Well, cheers, everybody. Thank you for joining. Yes, our part of this. First ever Crown and Diet. Yeah. Lunch. There you go. Yeah, you should have. It should have been a mandatory Crown and Diet drink. Okay, you all, you all know that I like the street tacos on Holland America. They're oh really good, my. so I thought I'd compare them on Princess City and oh, see what the they're like. Competition has well, started. See, right, right off the bat, I think there's like two less tacos, so they're losing points for that right well, now. Well, and it's funny. <laughs> I'm starting with the same appetizer that I usually have when we have lunch in on Holland America because I love their calamari. So let's give this a try. Let's see, Princess versus Holland America. All right. All right, so I ordered a second appetizer, which is spring rolls with a peanut sauce and some Asian noodles. Looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Okay, my second appetizer has arrived. I have tried the ever exotic French fries. And it comes with three different dipping sauces. I'm not sure what they are. I know one is mayo for sure, but I'll try the other ones and let you know. Update. So that was cheddar cheese, I believe. That was mayo. And that was some kind of flavored mayo, like a Cajun or something like that. So you can see by the results, that one won. Lunch has arrived. I'm having the farmer's omelet. Bunch of vegetables and some cheese, I believe. There's some green stuff I might ignore. And I went with the pasta dish with some grilled shrimp on it. Dessert is here. I think this is the first cheesecake I've had since the first day. Yeah, I think so yeah, too. Yeah, it is, yeah. Strawberry yeah. cheesecake with some chocolate. What are you having? I'm having nothing. Because yeah. I'm going to Sabatini's tonight, guys, so you know I'm going to eat later today. <laughs> Take a look at this cake here at the Amalfi Dining Room. Happy Valentine's. Hmm. They didn't offer me a piece of that during dinner. Okay, so it looks like our secret spot is full. And it's also very sunny over there, so we came over to the starboard side of the ship and uh, we found some seats over here. Kind of opposite this, the secret spot, but there is some smoking further down, but the wind's blowing the right way today. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Sorry. I'm probably squinting at you right now because I don't have my sunglasses, but Mrs. Canucks is going to go get some supplies, some books, the new camera, and we're going to spend some time relaxing, hopefully for a long period of time, probably the longest we have this entire group cruise. So I'll show you what I'm seeing out there, a beautiful view of nothing but water. There you go. That's a view I don't think I'd ever get tired of. Part of the reason I cruise is just to have days of sitting there staring out across the water and enjoying a little bit of this. Ooh. Ooh, Mr. Kutnuk is happy, everybody. We're here in our favorite place on looking at the ocean and he gets to film it all on his new toy, our new GoPro that you, we just bought. Uh, people watching this are watching our first ever footage from our new GoPro 11. Yeah. Other GoPro we've only ever used in the water. Right. This one has got some more features that we may be able to use this when we're on land or yeah. at sea right now, we're staring at like the sea. This. Yeah. So we thought we'd have our first ever footage on the new GoPro and toast it with a margarita as we look out over the ocean. So it seemed perfectly fitting to us. Cheers. Oh, oh. Cheers. Of course, frozen is the best. Mm. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. If you know. We don't agree with this, and I even did a competition earlier this week, and Team on the Rocks won. Mm. Uh -huh. hmm. Let's just stare out over the ocean and not even think about that anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. Drifting through the Atlantic Ocean, enjoying some rare quiet time on our group cruise. Look how blue that is. Doesn't get much better than that. All good things must come to an end. Sitting and staring out at the ocean, 
is done for the day as we go and get ready for the next set of adventures today. We have lots going on tonight. We have vow renewals, not ours, <laughs> but a lot of people on the ship are doing that. We have a theater show we want to see. We have specialty dining. So follow us along. And by the way, how does the footage look? This is the first time I am vlogging with the GoPro 11 inside the ship. So a lot of GoPros aren't good with low light. So I'm curious to see how this looks. So let me know and stay tuned. I think in the future we're going to be possibly having a kind of how-to vlog series of videos that come out. But off we go. I don't want to miss the cabin. I'm just going to go laugh at me if I get lost yet again. What are we now? 32 days almost in to sailing on the Enchanted Princess. I've almost got it figured out. Can we do a picture for Instagram or for, for me just with, um... oh, you got the camera going already. I'm rocking out. Yes. <laughs> it is formal night, everybody. It is Valentine's Day. Uh, we thought it would be gold and white night. That's not the case because it's Valentine's Day, but we brought gold, we brought white, so that's what you're going to see tonight. There you go. Oh, I made a rhyme. You did. I didn't you're, even know it. You're almost rapping after listening to that music <laughs> from the you killers. Go. All right, and here you go. And for you, that one. Sure. Sorry. I'm getting something given to me, just Ooh. so you know. There you go. These are courtesy of uh, one of our newest patrons, actually. Stacy and Avar gave us some gorgeous looking hand painted but absolutely delicious chocolate. So we're gonna do a little Instagram picture for you all right now while we're recording the vlog. Valentine's cheers. Cheers. You didn't tell me which camera to still at. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Oh, I won. Mm. I wasn't sure what this one was because I couldn't find it on the label. Mm -hmm. It's filled with caramel. Oh, yeah. so delicious. These are like hand painted chocolates. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. I'll hold you up the lid so you can see the name. It's from South Carolina, where they're made, and oh my, delicious. Thank mm -hmm. you, Stacey and Avar. Now we got to talk with food in the room. Oh, you talk. I mean, so this afternoon we had some relaxed time, you saw. Mm -hmm. And we did go see a little thing about uh, behind the scenes of theaters. I'm not sure if we spoke much about that, but that mm. was pretty interesting. It was interesting. We kind of thought and heard rumors that we were going to actually get to go behind the scenes, literally in the theater. Maybe and that was our, our our own sort of per perception because years ago on Carnival, we did that when we were traveling with our girls when they were little. And it was one of the highlights of the cruise for our children. Anyway, so we wanted to go and be able to film that sort of like we did with the galley tour the last time we were on the ship. But that wasn't offered, but it was still interesting. They had um, quite a few heads of different departments to help with all the music and production on the show, and it was interesting to hear them. The cruise director, of course, was there. So that's what we saw. That's what we did. We mm -hmm. relaxed. We had lunch with our patrons. Mm -hmm. We've been eating chocolate. We've been getting ready to go out for a formal night. There's vow renewals. Like I think I said a little bit earlier, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Theater store we're going to catch. Drinks. Probably some dancing. Might be one of those days we just wish would never end on a cruise ship. It's going to be a busy night, but we are ready for it. We are excited and let's go. Yeah. Okay, we tried to grab a little bit of the bow renewal, but uh, right now they're just dancing in pictures, so we'll see if we can catch them a little bit later on. Yes. Anyways, Stanley is in front of us. I don't know if we're going to catch Stanley. See if we'll see. we can catch him. <laughs> Here we go. Vista Lounge. Stanley dodged us into a crew area, so we never get a chance to show you Stanley. Maybe later on. How do you like how the dress flows? We got chicken wings tonight and a little bit of guitar. <laughs> Okay, drinks are arrived at Vista Lounge. I got a fancy glass like Mrs. Canuck tonight. Ooh, I got my fancy, fancy. Manhattan straight up tonight. He's being fancy for formal <laughs> night, guys. <laughs> Buried in that fanciness, there's a whole bunch of cherries, I'm told. Okay, we're here at the Santorini dining just to say goodbye to the waiters that we've had for 10 days. We realized we didn't have a chance last night. And they got another different cake. There you go. Each dining room has its own cake. We are here at Sabatini's. 
There you go. Dinner time. Lots of food. Okay, we're at Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. Normally $35 a person if you don't get it as part of your premier package like we have. And so you choose one thing on the, oh, I'm going to do a terrible job pronouncing all this. Zuba Ensalada, and then the antipasti. You choose another one that's right there. And then you choose a fresh pasta from the Primi Piatti. And then you choose another more of kind of a meat oriented thing on the second deep piety. What to have? Last time we were here, this is Kadak described this as a marathon of eating. So. And it is. It's a marathon of eating, guys. Don't take it lightly. It's phenomenal. But pace yourself. Okay, we have ordered and now let the eating begin. I have a very loose dress. I'm very happy that the dress was maybe one size too big when I bought it, so that might be helpful for tonight, ladies. Arancini balls. A little bit of oil and vinegar to dip our bread in, and I'll show you the bread. Oil and vinegar. Oil and basonic, I believe. There you go. <laughs> oh, first appetizer has arrived. I'm having a salad, the Insta... I want to say Insta Mista, but I don't think it rhymed like that. Insta Lada Mista, I believe. And, and I am having the Frida Mista a la Benjiana. I don't know. I'm sure you'll all correct me. It sounds more correct when you say ah at the end of it. <laughs> it's, it looks delicious and smells even better. Okay, second round of appetizers has arrived. Yes. And I am having nothing. No, but I am doing the Tuscan soup. Okay, the first pasta course is here. And I'm having the penne primavera. And I am having what I have been thinking about ever since the last time I was here, which is the seafood linguine. Highly recommend it. It was delicious last time. So I'm looking forward to this. Our main has arrived and I am having the chicken. Well, what are you I'm, having? Ha I'm having the chicken too, but it's actually called Scalplina del Plante uh, Lo Loren uh, Rosemary. Lemon chicken. That's what it is, guys. <laughs> Dessert has arrived and I'm having berries. <laughs> <laughs> with other stuff. I'm not quite sure. I'll let you know. It's yellow. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to pull up the menu on my phone like Carol taught me to figure it out. But, oh, you know what? I didn't take a picture of the of the dessert. Tiramisu. Okay, tiramisu. This is a berry. Panna cotta. Panna cotta. This is a rocher. And this is a berry custard Seba. of some sort. Uh, I forget the name. Sorry, guys. We are done at Sabatini's. We are. Full again? Uh, yes. <laughs> Another fabulous meal at Sabatini's. One of my favorite specialty restaurants, I would say. Just delicious food every time. And now we're going to the theater. And we are going to catch rock opera. Wow. <sighs> Looking forward to it. Here we go. Here we go. Princess Cruises presents rock opera. We can't film this for you. Might catch a little bit at the end, but this is my calls it her second favorite princess show. Flowing in, in a way for the night. The jacket's off. Mm. The night is done. I did wear the jacket the whole night, I think. Wow. I think. No, you took it off for dinner. Oh yeah, it was a little hot in Sabatini's for a little while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where to start today? What do you think? We had a wonderful sea day. Yeah. Day nine of our 10 day group cruise. It was fabulous. It started off in style, getting a special invitation to Mark and Coop's room where we had a lovely breakfast and a wonderful chat with them. Mm -hmm. Went on to um, listen to the behind the scenes talk of the theater. That was fun. Mm -hmm. We had a fabulous group luncheon with our Crown and Diet followers. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, we had a little quiet time. I read a book for the first time in the nine days we've been on board. I read some of my novel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we had a beautiful formal night evening with Sabatini's wonderful show in the theater. One of my favorite ones, rock opera. 
And then we finished the night off in style with a piazza dance scene party. Mm-hmm. There you go. Unexpected good thing was I feel that rock opera kind of went up my list of where it Ooh. is. I, I, I thought they did a fantastic job. Coming over to my side, guys, with this one because yeah. it is an amazing show. We sat up close. I don't know if that's what was different or what it was, but uh, yeah, this cast they just are phenomenal. They are. Yep, there's the one girl that sings in the Spotlight Bar lead. She also sings lead in this one as well. I don't know her name. They did, they, they did mention it at one point, but yeah, yeah she's mm-hmm. phenomenal. Mm-hmm. As is the rest of the cast. It, yeah. it's, when you see production shows on cruise ships, sometimes there's a singer here and there. It's like, oh, they're not as good as the other ones. They're all top-notch. Yeah, so, sure. yeah. yeah, really enjoyed that. So that was kind of a surprise. I'm really feeling that my Princess Theatre experiences, I got there was four of them we've seen now. Yeah, there's four in total. Three on this ship and one Bravo. Oh, so, okay. I thought you meant this cruise. And no. I'm like, I've only seen three. I thought maybe he had snuck to the theater without me at some point. I do believe that they're getting pretty close to all being tied. Like, they're all phenomenal. Very I'm having quality. a tough time saying I like one better than the other because they all amaze me every time. Mm. And we've seen them multiple times. This isn't mm. like our first time of being blown away. Like So, mm-hmm. hats off to Princess Entertainment for yeah, providing for sure, those high quality sure. shows. So. Yeah, the people that we've been traveling with that a lot of people haven't seen the shows. And they were like, oh, I'm so glad you told us to go to this show because it was by far their favorite too. So, mm. that's good. So, yeah, so that was Valentine's Day. Princess did a whole whack of vow renewals. We didn't get hardly any coverage. We might have one quick shot of the atrium when it was happening, but we were kind of coming and going, and we missed the, yeah, the meat of what the, that was all yeah, about. Yeah, we did, we did. Yeah. So we had a couple people that were in our group. That, that went and did it. Did their renewals, so yeah. congratulations to them. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it seems like they had a good turnout for that. Everything was decorated around the ship, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a great day. Yes, so... Thank you everybody for watching. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow we have one more sea day and it's the last day on the ship. We're doing a couple of fun things with the group tomorrow. We have another we specialty dining. Mm, we do, yes. And uh, that's really it for today, except to say that uh, I love my Valentine. What a wonderful woman I get to do this with, cruise with. Thank you. You make me cry. <laughs> so, thank you. We're very fortunate to have each other. For sure. Mm-hmm. On that note, good night everybody. Good night.